All right, so today I um, would like to introduce the practice of mindful awareness and um, using a very particular uh, social meditation practice that I developed called Noting is Like This. And um, this practice really was inspired by Kenneth Folk's work with social noting, and in particular, his development of the technique, There Is Noting, which we use during our check-in round every time. Um, there is, and then a word or two to describe your current experience. Um, I loved that because I've just done, um, for the first 10 years or so of my, of my practice, straight noting, you know, where I'm just using a word or two to describe my experience. I'd never played around with the form of the noting and like added anything in front of the words or after the words. So that was a real inspiration for me that, to realize, oh, well, I guess I could do that um, because someone else has done it and it worked. Um, so this practice is really inspired by that move that Kenneth made. And it's a, it's, it's a, it's a similar yet different move. So, that, so the idea here is we're going to use in this practice a word or two to describe our present moment sensory experience. And then we're going to add is like this to the end of the note. Um, and why? Why are we going to do that? And what does that have to do with awareness and mindfulness? Well, for me, this practice is, is a great mashing up of, the two, of these two ways to practice, of mindfulness, which is really focused on uh, noticing what you're sensing in real time. You know, there's a very much an object-oriented focus in, in the mindfulness practice. We're aware of something, and we can actually, in the noting practice, for instance, we can actually name it. Uh, we can say, oh, there's seeing, there's thinking, there's uncertainty, there's tension, it's unpleasant. We can really identify what's occurring um, with mindfulness practice. In awareness practice, we're just being. That's the way we describe awareness. So it's actually not something you do. It's something you be. Well, how do you be while noticing what is, uh, what's occurring? Um, this quote from Ajahn Sumedho, who's a, a teacher in the Thai forest tradition of Ajahn Chah, he's got a beautiful um, quote here that I think really gets at the heart of, of of how these two ways relate and how they can be brought together. In his book, Intuitive Awareness, he writes, awareness is your refuge. Awareness of the changingness of feelings, of attitudes, of moods, of material change and emotional change. Stay with that because it's a refuge that is indestructible. It's not something that changes. It's a refuge that you can trust in. This refuge is not something that you can create. It's not a creation. It's not an ideal. It's very practical and very simple, but easily overlooked or not noticed. When you're mindful, you're beginning to notice. It's like this. When you're mindful, you're beginning to notice. It's like this. Seeing is like this. Breathing is like this. Energy and trepidation are like this. Planning is like this. Uncertainty. It's like this. Freedom is like this. So in this practice, we're just tuning into whatever it is that we're noticing, and then we're noticing it's like this, however it is. And the thisness of the experience, or what in the Zen tradition is sometimes called the suchness or isness of experience can be highlighted, something that we can start to tune into. Oh yeah, no matter whatever arises, it is changing, it is different, and yet it all has the same basic quality that all experience shares. In the Tibetan tradition, they, they describe this as one taste, that all experience has one taste. And in my experience, that one taste is an acquired taste. It's something that takes Practice, yes, time, maybe, to realize. 
Sri Nisargadatta Maharaja, Advaita Vedanta uh, master, he said, awareness is primordial. It's the original state, beginningless, endless, unpaused, uncaused, unsupported, without parts, without change. Consciousness is on contact, a reflection against a surface, a state of duality. There can be no consciousness without awareness, but there can be awareness without consciousness, as in deep sleep. Awareness is absolute. Consciousness is relative to its content. Consciousness is always of something. Consciousness is partial and changeful. Awareness is total, changeless, calm, and silent. And it's the common matrix of every experience. Interest in your stream of consciousness, he says, takes you to awareness. When you are mindful, you're beginning to notice it's like this. So this is the mindfulness and awareness coming together in this practice. We're tuning into the stream of consciousness of what's arising moment to moment, this changing experience. And we're beginning to notice it's always like this. There's something which isn't changing, that isn't an experience, isn't a thing, isn't something we can attain isn't something we can lose even. It's not something we've ever had, so how could we lose it? Mindful awareness.